to my channel. So this week I'm coming at you with my November Play by Sephora unboxing. Yes. I love doing these videos every month because I love getting new little makeup samples to play with and I just think it's fantastic. So if you don't know, Play by Sephora is a monthly subscription box. It is $10 a month and I will have a link down below if you want to check it out and yeah, let's get into this. So. First off, this month's theme is Survival of the Chillest, <laughs> and this thing is pretty cool because it's meant for you to be able to like color it in, and then on the back it's got In Defense of Staying In, it's got Pencil Me Out, Choose an Excuse, Pop the Bubbly Back, Grab Soaking Supplies, Get Some Face Time, Make Sure You Have, and it's got little lists under each little thing there. And then on the back is all of my products, which I'm going to leave down here so that I can read about it to you guys, keep you all nice and informed. Anyway, here is the bag this month. It says it's me o'clock. So that's also super cute. I like the whole like black and white thing. Like I get that it's probably meant just so you can color it in, but like I'm kind of just digging the whole black and white thing in general. So dump this out. Yeah, it's back. Woo! All right, so starting at the top of my little list here is from Marc Jacobs Beauty. This is the Velvet Noir Major Volume Mascara. This is a jet black mascara that creates long, beautiful lashes with a unique curvy brush that builds volume starting at the hard to reach center lash line. So let's see what this brush looks like. I mean, it looks like a normal brush to me. see anything special about it I guess I don't know I will definitely check it out and see if it really does anything different but like I don't know it seems seems like a pretty normal mascara brush to me anyway next up is from origins this is their clear improvements active charcoal mask to clear pores this is a gentle yet highly effective charcoal mask that draws out impurities for clearer pores. And guys, this is a good sample. Like, that feels full and heavy. So I am really excited about that. I was actually needing a new mask, so good job, Sephora. Coming through for me. Thanks. <laughs> Next up is from IGK. It's this Mistress Hydrating Hair Balm. There's a nourishing leave-in conditioner that boosts your hair's hydration for shiny, frizz-free style. So you put it through your damp hair from your mid-length to your ends. And yeah, it's basically just like a, a hair mask type of thing. And I'm excited for that. I love putting things in my hair after I get out of the shower that will actually help them or just make it lay flatter. My hair seems to be kind of frizzy, so... I'm a fan of anything that will help with that. <laughs> see, next up is from the Sephora collection. This is the Ultra Shine Lip Gel in Perfect Nude. It has a super light lip gel in a soft pink shade. I'm sorry, I'm trying to read and open this at the same time. A super light lip gel in a soft pink shade that brings out the best of your natural lip color. So, if I can get this thing undone. Alright, so there's our color. I don't generally wear a lot of glossy things, but I'm always willing to give them a try, just in case. So there's what that color looks like. It's really pretty, really basic nude color. I mean, it's worth a shot. Worth a shot. It says that you can put it on your bare lips or dab it over your favorite lipstick for an alluring glossy finish. Generally, I like things to just be very matte. <laughs> I don't think that's a bad thing necessarily. It's just, I don't know. It's my preference, I guess. What can I say? <laughs> Next is from Pericone MD. It's this H2 Elemental Energy Hydrating Cloud Cream. It's a lighter than air face cream that refreshes skin and delivers moisture that lasts. So 
so again that's a really good sample that's one thing I can give you Sephora you give really decent sample sizes it feels nice it feels very watery when I apply it to my hand that's interesting very interesting I don't hate it I'm excited to try it out All right, and my last thing here is the fragrance sample of the month. This is from Burberry, the My Burberry Blush. It's a fruity and beautifully feminine floral fragrance that captures the vibe of strolling through a London garden. So. That's pretty. It is florally, but it's not like overly florally. If that makes sense, like it doesn't smell like a grandma that doesn't realize she's wearing too much perfume. <laughs> it's just, I don't know, it's a very light and pretty scent. I like it. I'm not mad about it. I'm not mad about it at all. And I like that it's got the little spray pop top because those are always preferred over those little caps that you have to just. Oh, those are annoying. <laughs> anyway. Anyway, so that is it for this video. If you liked it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you already get played by Sephora, make sure you leave me a comment down below letting me know what you got in your box and what you thought of it. And if you're not subscribed to my channel already, make sure you hit the subscribe button because we are about to be hitting up 25 days of YouTube starting December 1st and you don't want to miss out on that. See you guys next time. Bye!